<laughs> hello, hello, and welcome to this episode of the Sanibel Captiva Guide podcast. I uh, want you to uh, welcome, uh, help us welcome Joe Harity, who's Thank come you. to join us on the podcast. He's part of uh, the Harity family, obviously, and uh, who own um, Doc Ford's and several other restaurants. Uh, just tell me a little bit about the restaurants, and then we'll back up from there. Yeah. So, so it's um, Doc Ford's. We, we have four currently. Um, there's one on Sanibel, of course, Captiva, uh, Fort Myers Beach, and then there's uh, one downtown St. Pete at the New Pier. Right. That one just opened yeah. recently, right? Yep. Uh, July of 2020. Okay. It's kind of a funny time to open a restaurant, of right. course. But right. It, right. 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 I heard out. it's going gangbusters. Yeah. It's we're very fortunate to be up there. Yeah. And it's, then more uh, in the pipeline, or? Uh, yep. There's one that we uh, property we just purchased. Uh, uh, on the other side of St. Pete, uh, towards St. Pete Beach. Um, so that was, it was actually an old Joe's Crab Shack okay. uh, years ago. Um, and it's been vacant for, I think, eight or nine years. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So you're so, going to be yeah, in there. It's a really cool looking, it's it's uh, it's right on the seawall that we're going to be building docks. And it's an old, you know, stilted wood structure. Oh, it's, cool. It's really so it's cool. kind of like really yeah. cool. reminiscent of yeah. the books and yeah. everything. Oh, and the one on Fort Myers Beach is rather like that, isn't it? Yeah. It's, like, yep. it's got that old dock yep. vibe. Yep. And, uh, it's yeah. all wood. It's like an old fish house basically okay you know? so, so cool. we're yeah. recording this in uh december of 2021 what's the projected opening of the new one well we were hoping april or may of 22 but you know permitting's taking forever and right we actually just um ordered a bunch of kitchen equipment and they told us 30 weeks <laughs> oh dear so 30 30 weeks. Weeks. <laughs> it's, it's the delay. Right, as long as you didn't have to cook food yeah. which is kind of hard in a restaurant it's just the delays that you know you come to Everything. expect these days so. right 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 so yeah, it's always good. Um, I don't know if anybody's noticed, uh, Bay, um, Doc Ford's has become a sponsor of the channel and we're, we're very, very appreciative of that. The nicest thing out is to team up with brands and, and businesses, A, that are small and, and secondly, that um, we're a fan of. I mean, there's no doubt about it. As we've grown up, uh, we've or as the kids have grown up, They've grown up around Doc Fords. When was the first one open? 2003. 2003. Yep. We moved here in 99. So we always have this kink uh, thing with our kids and the family. And it, whenever it's their birthday, they get to choose where to go. So we've got three kids. They're older now. Obviously, Max is sitting right there. He's 22. <laughs> and then we've got a 18-year-old and a 17-year-old. We seem to go to docks all the time. Don't we? Yes. Awesome. It was, That's awesome. Every, every time I would go back to college, I would, I would uh, make my parents take me to Doc Fords That's for a family awesome. meal before we went. Yeah, Went that's back. great. That's true. Yeah, and yeah. always get the same stuff. It's just like you don't even need to. You could just like <laughs> you could probably guess what we get. What's yeah. the most famous thing? You can shrimp. Exactly. You can Hands yeah. down, you can't go there without getting. Yeah, them. I try to come up with a different answer, but it's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's flat a out. So and you know what? I think is equally as good. What? Which uh, normally, typically, being a European, uh, Americans aren't as good at is the bread. Right. Oh, Phenomenal yeah. bread. Yep. Yeah, yep. which is hard to come by. Yeah. Definitely hard to come by. Right. Really good bread. So we get the Yukon strip and then we get extra bread on yep. top of the bread that yep. they serve with the bread. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's great for that low yep. carb diet. It's funny being in the kitchen when that happens too, and they say more bread or mas pan. We know exactly what oh, it's mas for. Oh, mas pan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the Yucatan. Right. So any, if anybody doesn't know, describe the Yucatan shrimp to everybody, Joe. So it's, um, it's big jumbo golf shrimp. Yeah, um, they're huge. Uh, it's in butter, cilantro, lime. Uh, garlic, uh, these Colombian chilies, and it's they're they're peel and eat. Some people don't like that, but right. you know, we you get you get messy. Yeah, you got to get messy. It's part of the experience, and yeah. um, you know it's 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 really good. Right, yeah. and it comes with that loaf of bread, yep. and then you dip that bread yep. in the sauce. Stop. Afterwards. I'll stop. I'm okay. getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> we actually uh, two year, couple years ago, we we started selling it out of the bottle. Oh, oh you, you do have yeah. the sauce now. So that's, that's right. That's been really cool too. It's. I will say on air that it is a little different just because the way it's bottled. manufactured and bottled and, you know, right. Right. preservative, I guess. We, we use it. like real lime juice at the restaurant. Right. Um, I guess with the co-packers, they can't use actual lime juice, so it's lime concentrate. Gotcha. gotcha. It's so a little very bit close, different. but it's the restaurant still. Gotcha. Got to so, gotta, gotta, gotta get in for the so good stuff. So if you're not sure. in Florida for Doc Fords, if you're having that craving, yep. Yep. get online. You, I'm sorry, I mean, you can order online, yep. can you? Yep, shopdocfords.com. Okay, yep. Perfect. Very cool, very right. cool. So tell us a little bit about, obviously you grew up on Sanibel. We have uh, a, a little bit of a connection, although we probably didn't know it from a distance. Max growing up and going to school on Island, mm -hmm. your father was heavily involved with the kids sports right. 
along with um, uh, Dick Mensch, Dick Mensch, Dick Mensch yeah. and yeah. Uh, so tell us a little bit back up a little bit how did your dad end up here on the island and he's I mean he's a big figure in the community right he's always done a ton of charity work and he's yeah. always uh, and your mum of course All right um, so how did they end yeah. up how did they find the island so I was born in St. Louis. We moved here when I was, you know, one and a half, two years old. Um, I know my, when my dad was in sales uh, in St. Louis, he would be going back and forth uh, from St. Louis to here. Um, to Santa Bob particularly? Or Santa Bob, my... yeah. I think they used to come down to Captiva and stay at South Seas a lot. Gotcha. Um, so they, you know, they fell in love with the area, of course. And yeah. um, What was he selling? Do you know? Uh, balloons. Balloons. Yeah, me- You're metal- kidding. Metallic balloons. No way. Yeah. Okay. So Never met a balloon his, salesman. Um, yeah, you know, he can tell the story way better, of course. But <laughs> his one, his company is one of the first companies that started making those metallic, right? You know, which are so popular balloons. now, yeah. everybody has them now. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. So that was his shtick, and he'll he'll tell you funny stories about it to this day. But, okay. Um, right. Your dad's coming on. We've yeah. got to find <laughs> out about the balloons. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a great episode. Um, so yeah, so you know, we moved down here when I was two, and um, I went to Sanibel School K through eight. My, actually, my my class was the first, first class one to go the all through them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So Which is really cool because we were kind of, you know, we were the guinea pigs. And right. Because we Sanibel used to be, to be just K through five. Right. And then yep. they eventually added yep. sixth, seventh, and eighth yep. now. And now all the kids have to go off island for right. high school. But yep. you were the first one. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. pretty cool because I remember in fifth grade, you know, they would like have meetings with those little fifth graders and ask us, you know, well, what do you guys want to see in your middle school? And we would request, you know, <laughs> lockers and, you know, <laughs> right. stuff like that. And then chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. <laughs> better lunches <laughs> right. all the important yeah. stuff <laughs> but it was a lot of fun yeah, yeah good Scott, memories it of it yeah very yeah. cool so and then so, so, so uh, what are we sea dragons sea sea horses sea horse, sea well, dragons? i was a seahorse it's the sea dragons now okay yeah uh, alum uh, alum yeah alum Max. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> so, then, alum. so then your mom and dad got into restaurants so what was their first restaurant they had uh, the Island House, which okay. is where the original Doc Ford's was and 400 Rabbits is now. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So do you guys remember that? Yeah. Well, yeah. I remember it. And it was the I bungalow. The bung- yeah, we had the bungalow. The bungalow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I remember so that. The Island House was, was a great, you know, my dad and uh, Mark Marinello, our partner, they'll tell you great story not great stories but probably terrible stories about it (laughs) um, you know that was that was the guinea pig and that's where they learned a lot and um, we joke around at meetings about how we don't bring up Oh uh, right, that's don't, don't, that don't say that word at the meetings. <laughs> Got it. We'll remember that when your dad comes on. <laughs> Skip over um, that bit. Yeah, so no, the island house, the little, the little bungalow there. The, yeah, yeah, the bungalow is great. Yeah, many fun. birthday parties in there. Big Dan used to work in there. Yeah, Big Dan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> served a mean margarita. Yeah, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they had that restaurant, and then what, moving on from that, that it, that was changed into that was changed into Doc Ford's the original. first one. Yep. And, and how uh, did that all come about? Did you so explain who Doc Ford is yeah. if anybody doesn't know? So Doc Ford, he's a character in a series of books. I think I think Randy's up to twenty eight or twenty nine now. Right, Randy um, Wayne, so Wa- Randy Wayne White, White is the author. author. Trivia question about that coming later. Okay. okay. And the, total, <laughs> the, the, the tongue t- twister of a night. If you can, that's the trivia. If you can say Randy Wayne Randy White, White. <laughs> five times. Five times. Times, then you're the winner. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the Island House, you know, closed down. The exact sequence, I'm not exactly sure, but I think uh, my dad and Mark, they were, you know, brainstorming ideas, and um, you know, I think Mark knew Randy through softball or something, and okay. they started talking. And which know, Randy was idea. a local fishing guide for yep. years yep. out of Tarpon Bay, and I think he wrote on the side, and yep. then just started writing these books, yep, and now he's become books, they, they took internationally off and, famous. Yeah, really. Yeah, so. it's, it's been really awesome, and like I said, we're very fortunate and. Uh, I remember at the original Dr. Ford's and, you know, I was uh, probably middle school busting tables and Randy used to uh, write his books over in the bungalow. Oh, really? So like in the summers when it was really slow uh, for lunches, they would, we would close down the bungalow right. and Randy would be in there. Okay. And, Just you know, people would come away. and like ask about Randy and stuff. And little did they know he's, <laughs> he's in actually said, next door. Oh, wow. oh, right. <laughs> Is he funny. scribbling yeah. away or did he have a tone? <laughs> I love the thought so of an author the, with a... <laughs> <laughs> type depending on the vibe of the customer, you could say, well, maybe, you know, go peek your head in the oh, window gotcha. to get a glimpse of him. <laughs> <laughs> so who did, where did the menu come from? Was that from, was that... A, did, was that based on anything? Obviously, it's a rum bar. And, right. You know, it's it's tropical food, basically. Yeah, Caribbean, Caribbean. themed. Um, yeah. The original chefs, uh, Chef Greg Nelson is actually the original chef. Um, I think he's over at Twin Waters now, but um, it was really a collaboration between a bunch of people. Was right. it? Yeah. yeah. So You um, came up with ideas. and Yeah. Uh, and I think Randy 
is into yeah. cooking too. Yeah, Randy as had well. a very, very big influence on it as well. Yeah, really. so I know he has actually a cookbook that he yeah. put out yep. years ago yep. that you can still get I was online. We have it, don't we? Yeah, I have yeah. it in my collection of books. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. So that that restaurant became a roaring success and right. was like busy, packed constantly yeah. for for a few years. And then tell us about the transition when you moved. So, you actually built a building. Correct? Yeah, so the second one, oh, the transition of Sanibel? Well, no, the transition from that building to the next restaurant. Yeah. Was the next one Fort Myers the Beach? The next one was Fort Myers Beach, Okay, yep. so talk about that one yep. then. So um, that one was uh, 2009, I think. Um, that was the old bridge on Fort Myers. And that, you know, I'd never been there as it was the bridge, but apparently it was it was a very hopping spot. Yeah, so. yeah it was a very hopping spot, but only on certain times. So it would yeah. be like Sunday afternoon. Yep. yep. And know? they had a, you know, they had the happy hours and, and pretty pretty rough crowd. Yeah. Um, it was more known for its drinking and yeah, rowdy crowd yeah. than it was for its food. So, and, you know, the opportunity came up and, you know, we signed the lease and stuff. And that and that location is is actually our 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 flagship biggest, one, biggest yeah. number one yeah, yeah. oh sure. yeah it's, and, it, and it's incredible that you guys do so well not that you do so well with it because it's a fantastic location over lots of shrimp boats mm-hmm. you can come there by boat uh, but it's multi levels it must be a hard right. restaurant to run from management wise absolutely because there's tons of outside yep. seating there's inside it's yep. just a rabbit warren yeah. of different right like, two yeah. different yeah. bars aren't yeah. There? oh absolutely yeah. and outside, it takes it takes inside. a different type of you know staff to work there because you're constantly going up and down the bus boys have to be you know physically fit right, <laughs> right. right. Physically right. Fit, right. and it's it you know c- hats off to the management team there yeah, so. yeah so. and then they've re- they re- you guys renovated the building next door and they, that has events and everything like that so yeah, yeah that's uh, we call it doc's house um that's where we do catering weddings you know birthday parties stuff like right. that and, if and you, seriously if you we've been in the wedding business or were mm-hmm. and the, but if you're ever in the I'm, i can't believe it isn't utilized more than it is because it is probably one of the best places, especially for locals. Like, right. Because when people come out of town in the, in the middle of the summer, it would only be somebody, no due respect, or with all due respect, it would mm-hmm. be somebody from out of town that would come and want to get married on the beach in the summer when it's very, very hot. This is the absolute perfect place if it's super hot. You're literally in air conditioning yeah. right on the water. Yeah. And it's intimate. Like if you're having a, you know, 60 people at a wedding, you're in a great big room, then it kind of gets lost, you know? Whereas this is small enough for... Right. I, What's I can't your believe max? More people Do you know? Uh, the occupancy, I think it's 200, just under 200. Oh, is it 200? For that building. Wow. But, but it just has an intimate, cool yeah. feeling to and the, it. And the, the, the balcony on the front and the sides yeah. is literally on the water. I mean, you're looking over into the water. It's yep. absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah so thanks we, for saying that, because that's you know that's we talk about it all the time. That that venue, it's it's such a great location, but it yeah. you know it's we empty. People don't see the utilized. You know? yeah. Right. We need to get the we, word we out. We talk about, about it. maybe you know turning into another restaurant, maybe a breakfast spot. I don't know. No, nothing set in stone, but we right. You know, we talk about it all the time. But yeah. If anybody has office Christmas parties yeah. or any I don't kind know of party, it's going to be out by then. Well, but, not yeah. out by yeah. then, but, but not even Christmas parties. Any uh, yeah. functions. Yeah. Yep. It's so big birthday parties. And, you know, just uh, people watching and stuff. There, there's a lot of boat traffic that comes yeah. past. You'll see the pirate boat going past. You'll see the Key West Express. Yeah. I mean, it's shrimp boats. It's just a great, great spot. So that shrimp fleet, I don't know. If, someone told me that's one of the largest shrimp fleets in the uh, U.S. I, really? Yeah, I, can, I guess it goes from Fort Myers Beach, uh, Louisiana to Texas. and does the Oh, triangle. does like a triangle? Really? Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'd love to have one of the shrimp. I want to fact check that. Yeah. Come yeah. Tell me that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really cool, too, because they, they come within feet. Yeah. Literally. 20, 30 feet of yeah. the, of right. the restaurant. It's really neat. Right. Yeah. And yeah. then you have uh, entertainment, obviously. Yep. Is that seven days a week? Or Live music is seven. When season it is. Right. Yeah, on Fort Myers Beach. Yep. Right. So that's a good time. Yep. If you Sundays, uh, we do Deb and the Dynamics. If you've ever seen her. Yeah. Play, she's, Legend, she's, she's, legendary in yeah, the area. She rocks it. So yeah. So yeah. that's a fun day to go for sure. Yeah. So that's actually the, the restaurant we go to most. We live not far from there. So okay. that's probably right. our local restaurant. Awesome. But, yeah. yeah. And if you're on vacation here on Sandbar Captiva, it's not that far of a journey to go. Get to at yeah. all, so definitely yeah. worth they're, the they're day trip. They're all within twenty minute drive of each yeah. other. Yeah, so right. definitely worth the trip off yeah. the island to visit that one. And then the one next door to that is that that's Dixie Fish Company. That's our other other concept. Okay, yeah. yeah. So Dixie Fish Company, exactly what we just said about that group space. This is the exact same next door, but right. it's more of a raw bar type yeah. area. It's a lot more laid back. It's mo- mostly bar stalls and yep. small. And Small all, high tops. all open air. All open air, no AC. It's actually my personal favorite. Yeah. We go there a lot. We go there yeah. a lot. That's yeah. our, uh, we, we're there quite a lot on Friday evenings. Yeah. And Saturday evenings Do you know what the original, what was the original building? Was it? It was Dixie Fish Company. It was a fish yeah. company. Yeah. That's yeah. why but I It thought. was like a wholesale market that um, the shrimp boats used to tie up right there. And 
uh, offload the uh, catch and stuff like that. The, but, like, the original sign was up there, wasn't it? Before you took it, yeah. wasn't it? It was like it was, yeah. faded it, out. The and... building was built in 1937. Really? Sheesh. Yeah. So it's yeah. been around. I Which mean, for a, a building on the water, yeah. in the water, is incredible. Yeah. It's and there, there. There's cool. The next time you go in there, take a look at some of those black and white photos. There's some yeah. original photos of it. And it's, it's, a, it's a pretty cool looking... Cool right. wow. so yeah, that's, let's put some pictures up there, Max, yeah. when on this part of the It was yeah. funny too because like when, when we were building it out, um, you know, we're trying to think of what to do with it and I think we decided we're like, let's just keep it the way like yeah. exactly how it looks right now. Just put a kitchen in it and some you know, a bar and we're good right. to go. You know? Yeah. We don't need to make it fancy or anything like no. that. It's, it has the, the best atmosphere. Yeah. If you want to go where locals and tourists go, I mean that is one of the places. It, it's kinda like on, it's a good thing but it's sometimes a little bit of a wait to get a seat but it's worth yep. it's definitely worth right. the wait and yeah. you have entertainment there as well don't yep you? yep during season it's uh seven days a week and then you know off season we, we right. slow it down a little bit but. yeah oh yeah. fun good All entertainment right. too who it was uh, uh mr trend home was there the other night right? i think we uh, saw yeah. 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 yeah very good yeah mm -hmm. exactly yeah. all right so we talked about the sandbell we talked about fort myers and then what was your next so captiva location? was number three okay so our little code words are d1 d2 d3 d4 Okay. okay, got it. Okay. I catch myself saying that in front of my friends and they have no idea, <laughs> no what, idea what we're talking about. about. <laughs> so D3 was Captiva. D3 was Captiva. And explain where Captiva, so is it in South Seas? Can you, uh, uh, you have Technically, to be in? no. You don't okay. have to go through the gate. Right. Um, you know, you don't have to use a room key, room card or anything right. like that. Right, so um, and it's open to the public. Open basically. to the public. Uh, it's right before the gate. So when you get, when you veer into South Seas, you take a right just before the gate. And, and you'll find right it right there. there. The yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm there a lot in between appointments. I'll go in there, sit at the bar yeah. and grab a, I love that chimichurri chicken. That oh, they do. yeah, yeah. The half, half chicken. chicken. Yeah. yeah, really good. Yeah. Yeah. You can so, demolish the half yeah. chicken. Yeah. We actually, yesterday was a great day. We had a, uh, or what day is today? Thursday? Thursday. Tuesday. Yeah. We had a, uh, menu review so we did a bunch of food oh, tasting oh nice oh, really? Captiva. Oh, really? so those are always fun days to be a part yeah. of yeah. <laughs> where yeah, was our seriously. invitation we had uh, yeah. all of our all of our uh, kitchen managers submitted two items oh, oh really so it's, it's so, kind of the competition with the kitchen oh, managers that's fun. oh then, that's cool um, you know we'll end up picking a handful of them and those will probably make it on the new menu oh, oh that's cool. awesome when's that coming out probably after the new year right. After yeah. the new year. all okay, right cool. so look yeah. out for that yeah, yeah for Very sure cool. awesome and then but then, did we talk about how you moved the one to beside the post office? No, we skipped over oh, that. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, so going back now, yeah. so the, the one was doing, number one, D1. Right. D1. Was doing very, very well. <laughs> on Rabbit Road. On Rabbit Road. Yep. So what happened then? So that was, um, my understanding, it was a, it was a lease, it, lease issue. Um, also, the, you know, the building needed a lot of work and stuff. And right. We had an opportunity with that property that we're at now at uh, Island Inn Road uh, to build. So, you know the best long-term move was to move it. And, um, so you built a brand new restaurant brand new building. Yep. It's, you know, it's a little bit more centralized too. Yeah, mm. definitely. We always joke about more. downtown Sanibel and yeah. if, if there was one, that would probably <laughs> that would be, be it. it. It's right. true. Exactly. So, so, true. so right, <laughs> yeah. you're right across from Bailey's. Yeah. Close Spoon to drift, close. Island yeah. Bowls. Yeah. Yeah. George Bowls. Wendy's right George there. Wendy's. Wendy's. Amy's over easy. Yeah. 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 It's a great so, little spot in that yeah. all walking area mm -hmm. and close to Tarpon beach. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we always say that about if you're at Tarpon Beach, always head down that yeah. way because there's so much down there. But, yeah, yeah, exactly. So was it bigger? Is it bigger? It's bigger, isn't it? It's bigger, yeah. And it's multi-level yep. inside. Yeah, multi in the, they have that top outside. area. We call it the Tarpon Room. They do, uh, you know, another place you can and, right. Yep. You could probably have an event up there yeah. too. Yeah, we I do think. private parties up there from yeah. time to time, and right. Um, it's cool because up there there's a little back patio too. So. Um, oh, right, really? an outside yeah. patio. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we've yeah, sat yeah, there yeah. Who, who's bir we went there for someone's birthday recently. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's right. We, we did on that it was, patio. Was it Brooks? Yeah. Brooks and yeah. McKenna's, our sister's, my sister's yeah, birthday. That's we were out there. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's not. It's not quite like the old bungalow, but you know. Right. right. Yeah. But I'm, still. I'm not yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have taken my daughters to the old bungalow. Oh Bungalow could talk. Awesome. And we've actually contributed some of the artwork to the restaurant just because we've done enlargements of Randy's books. All the covers of the books are hanging up everywhere, and you you sell the books at yep. the stores yep. oh they've got a wicked so uh wicked uh, merch yeah i guess it's merch yeah merch. i mean there's there, yep. you know, a lot of restaurants you go in there's like one or two t-shirts there's like yeah. 25 different and they're all cool they're a lot of book covers a yeah. lot of uh uh mugs i mean yep. there's everything in there. it's yeah. really cool actually because like from time i've seen it myself too 
random people in different states wearing the Doc Ford. I used shirt. to live in Atlanta, and I, you know, on a handful of occasions, I've seen Doc Ford memorabilia up there. <laughs> really? That's, that's cool. It's very humbling, but it's yeah. also super exciting. Yeah. What What did you do up in Atlanta? Uh, I lived in Atlanta for six years. After um, After school, I went I went to a school for design. Uh, and then I ended up building websites for a few years for a really? there. Before awesome. you came back, yeah, you can't yeah. resist. Well, I was here for a year after school, actually, after Alabama. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I was doing all the print ads and stuff and, you know, I just got kind of monotonous and I, you know, I actually started diving into web design and making things move. And that's yeah. what got me up to Atlanta um, right. where I lived for you know, like about six years. Right. Awesome. And when did you come back? It was- uh, actually, I, I, I closed on my house like a week after Irma. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, oh, man. You know, I was up in Atlanta crossing my fingers that, that the it wasn't blown away. There. Oh, <laughs> man. Luckily, no, it wasn't. Yeah. So, oh, did you, yeah. What, so, did, you miss, did you miss the uh, weather down here? The, uh, yeah, the I missed the weather. You know, it was a great opportunity, of course. And, um, you know, these are my roots. And, yeah. you know, yeah. this, is, this is the best long term move for sure. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. Right. For sure. So yeah. awesome. So, um, you, so like we said, you, your dad was very pivotal on, in the island sports. He did the T-ball. Yeah. And uh, Max had a short career in T-ball. Yeah, he yeah, played arm. until I, I broke my arm. Yeah. What? At yeah. T-ball? Yeah, I got hit by a pitch. Wow. Yeah. No, no I didn't. Really? No, he didn't. No. He did uh, it. wasn't that treacherous. I was say, no, did I, Marty break your arm? <laughs> yeah. No, he's a taskmaster. <laughs> it was like after practice, I, I think I fell off the monkey bars. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't that spectacular. No. So, no, that was, that, that that was the end of my yeah. t-ball career. <laughs> after they still, that. This might be a dumb question. Are they still doing t-ball out here? I believe I so. They've got to, so, yeah. right? I would think so. I would think so. Just a different generation. I mean, they haven't invited me back out, but I'm sure. When we were when we were kids there is the little league was i mean we had Huge. eight eight yeah. to ten teams yes. it was yeah. awesome. and max yeah. well, i always flag. played flag football flag at sanibel no they didn't have that when i was done mm-hmm. okay. there was always probably eight teams in flag football yeah. in sanibel mm-hmm. too yeah. yeah yeah that was awesome yeah soccer all yeah that, that was stuff. my favorite was flag football <laughs> was it yeah. yeah it was yeah it was yeah, fun it. yeah it was fun those were the days growing up down here you know little league and yeah it was so much fun yeah after school rec over there, it was great. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I used to yeah. go to the rec. I did yeah. all the rec center. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alum. So, alum. alum. <laughs> was it the dragons? Sea dragons. <laughs> sea dragon alum. <laughs> so, yeah. tell us about any future plans that you got with the uh, restaurants coming up that you can talk about. I don't know if there's anything. Yeah. We so are. exciting stuff, obviously. The menu change that should be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, that's always exciting. You know, we, we usually. But you keep the original. The, you're, you're keeping oh, the yeah. Yucatan. Come on now. Stuff. Yeah, Come yeah on. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the, the single most heated me- uh, meetings that we have are probably menu meetings. Really? Oh yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In a good way because right. yeah. people are defensive Everybody has their over opinion. certain items and a lot of opinions. And, yeah, yeah, I can see that. We it's have the same thing stuff. talking about content that we're going to put out. Yeah. <laughs> we had the same thing on the way here. We were yeah. talking about doing a video and it's like, no, nah, this would work. No, yeah. that wouldn't work. Yeah, Everybody could, has opinions yeah. for sure. Yeah. All right. Oh, so what do you got coming up? Anything? So um, we have another place in St. Pete coming up, another Doc right. Fords. Yeah. Um, said, yep. So that's, you know, that's in the process. Like I said, we're just waiting on permitting, hopefully open mid summer 22 gotcha um but right now that's really it. we we try not to move too too quick mm-hmm. you know especially right. today it's yeah. uh it's a scary world Who knows you know, what's so. gonna happen yeah <laughs> it's a smart move yeah. you, you yeah. already launched one right yeah. in the middle of yeah COVID. We're, we're, we're always looking for stuff but we're very uh contingent on location and stuff of course and yeah. you know we're right. not we're not you're not breaking in, into Europe yeah. anytime soon. We're, yeah, we're not in a rush. Central, to open up, Central you know, America, <laughs> a spot every year or anything like that. Right, it's just, right, it's right. Just, Slow and steady them, wins the race. Us, right, exactly. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So we'll have to go up and check out the one. Right, and obviously yeah. everybody can find is your website docfords.com. Yep. Yep. Perfect. So Let yeah, me know right. when you guys go up there too. Yeah, yeah. for right. sure. Yeah, 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 we'd love to go up there. We got friends up there. Does Randy come into the restaurant still, or does he? Yeah, he goes to Sanibel. Almost nightly, I think. Really? Yeah, he'll venture into Captiva from time to time, but Sanibel's a spot. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Well, you might, if you're here. So any fans you're... out there, if you want Ex- to catch them. Yeah, you yeah. know where to go. <laughs> Bring your book. <laughs> Buy a book there. Okay, What's find. your favorite menu item? If You can't say that you can tantrum. I know. It's cheating. <laughs> That'd be a cop out. Uh, my favorite one, my favorite app are the Tostados. Have you had those? No. Mm-hmm. Oh, very we good. get stuck in the same thing. Chicken so tostados, this is good. They're like okay. cilantro, lime uh, on a very crispy Tostado. It's very, very good. That's awesome. Right. We'll try that we'll one. We're trying that. Uh, it's around, it's around lunchtime right now. We might have to head over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, my favorite entree is the mahi. The mahi? Yeah. That yeah. soy glaze is, you know, the, the 
the rice, the stir fry. Okay. Oh, I'm the mahi entree. Yep. Yeah. Okay. My that? dad's is the scallops. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a special. Yeah. yeah. So he I'm trying to get that on the menu. Loves. I don't know why we haven't done it yet. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Here's some right. of the He's conflicts a, right here. Yeah, yeah, one, one of the right. conflicts. Well, you, we'll the Joe, you'll have to uh, show this clip at uh, well, at the next him menu that meeting. Roger Penix <laughs> demands that the scallops be on the menu. I'll put he, in a good word. Yes. He <laughs> loves the scallops. Absolutely uh, loves them. Uh, That's funny. What well, do you get, Dad? Uh, what do I get? I, I lo- if I'm in a hurry, because the chim- I think the chimichurri chicken is probably pre-done because uh it would be hard to roast a, a chicken right in yeah front we of roast so, them the day before right so i get that because normally i'm in a hurry between i'll yeah. either get a salad or a chimichurri chicken but yeah if i'm so you get we, the half chicken for lunch well no for dinner I, you uh, know i'm a i'm a svelte guy <laughs> no, that's, you know, that, obviously that's take, the appetizer three, that's the that appetizer. Lasts me three three days joe <laughs> yeah right if he has time seven, that's his appetizer seven minutes <laughs> <laughs> and what's your uh, ultimate max can't tell you what? Secret. It's, it's a trivia question. Oh, oh okay. Interesting. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, speaking get, of I'm trivia. I'm worried about these trivia. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> speaking <laughs> of trivia, let's get on that. All right. All right. Be smart if I heavily favored in you. Laurie cheats and I, I suck, so yeah. you're all right. <laughs> Be smart if I had this. Uh, How many questions? I've got three 25. today. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually a four-hour yeah, ACT to <laughs> sit, yeah, sit down kind of test. Did you not get a tutor? Yeah, <laughs> that's actually funny. Real quick before we start, I was telling my girlfriend last night that I'm doing this. Yeah, and she's like, "Oh wow, she's very impressed." She's like, did you prepare? What are they going to ask you? All these questions. I was like, "Now you're making me nervous." <laughs> <laughs> I was no. going into this very casual. And now yeah. I'm nervous. And now you know. We just yeah. wing it. <laughs> we never oh. know what we're going to talk about. Uh, all right, Max. You, you may me. wing it. I t- I take this very seriously. <laughs> okay. Uh, all on. right. Number one. So we saw, we talked about this earlier. To date, how many mainline Doc Ford novels are there? Uh oh. So that's not include not including the children's spinoff. There's one children's spinoff, as far as I know. What about Hannah Smith books? Mainline, just the Doc Ford novels. Just the Doc Fords. Interesting. Okay. Mm. How many? How many? And I believe they started in what year? Eighty ninety. Is this another question? No, I I just I I should look this up. No, No. that's that's not a (laughs) trivia question. All right, so how many? All right, you going first, Joe? Yeah, what you, you got? Know I said 28. I said 23. Dad? I said 27. Let's see. 27. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Dad's the closest. It's 26. <laughs> ah! 26. 26 right. novels so far. <laughs> All right, one to Dad. Okay. I, I can't imagine writing that much. Wow. So amazing. 28 with kids' books. I no. think there's, is there I two kids' you books? you said earlier there was there's like two. 40 titles. No, I knew there was something in the 20s. He's actually working on another kid's book right now. Really? So there's yeah. two kid's books? Sorry, young adult book. Young adult. Young adult. Right. Young adult. Okay. okay. Okay, yeah. So there's 26 mainline Doc Ford novels, unless somebody can prove me wrong. But that's what I found on the internet. Okay. <laughs> you know, what's the first one? Or is that another question? No, it's not another question. No. Oh, wait. I know it. Sandoval Straits. I don't know. Close. What is it? Sandoval Flats. Oh, flats. Oh, <laughs> straight, <laughs> flat. Come on. I, I get a half point. <laughs> All right. The second trivia question, the answer was said by Joe earlier. Oh. Let's see if you guys remember. Oh, the first Doc Fords was opened on Rabbit Road on Sanibel in what year? Oh, gosh. Wow. I don't remember. Oh! <laughs> I do. You do? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Nick. I think. All right. Go for it. 1998. Oh, oh, you. I put in- 2003. Oh, you're right. 2003. Yeah. Yes! Oh, shit. Dad. <laughs> oh, because it was the other brand before. The Island House. Island House. Oh, Island House. Yeah. Was that started in 1998? I don't, I, I, I don't yeah. think you. We don't talk like, about I, that. Yeah, remember? I like how you said the other brand. I like right. that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Did not talk about that. Yeah, Dad, uh, you were so confident. You were so I was, confident. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. All, right. All right. So that's a 1 1 1. one, one. one. Oh, 1 1 1. 1 1 1. one. No, yeah. you no, got no I point. was wrong. No. I was wrong on the first one. No, Dad got the point on the first, first one. one. Yeah, and, and then this is the second one. Oh, you got 2003. Yeah. Okay, yep. so triple ones across triple the board. Ones. Triple ones. Right. And this is this is it tiebreaker. Uh, my personal question. Okay. My favorite item on Doc Ford's menu is an eight is titled with eight words and is a fish sandwich. Okay. Yeah. I know it's, what this. It's their it's their famous sandwich. It actually, it's yeah, eight words. Jeez, really? They printed eight words on the menu? Yep, I looked it up just to make wow. sure I was right. 
Uh, shoot. I always, when I ordered, I always say all eight words just to be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna struggle with this one too. I actually made a video about this like three days ago. Really? Yeah, I went and got it. I only have seven words. Oh no! <laughs> you sure it's? Let me count it out for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think it's coming to me. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. I added another word in. I just stuck it in there in the middle. <laughs> you said eight? Eight words. What the you heck is on our menu? That's eight <laughs> words. It's it's the favorite. Favorite fish sandwich. It has a box around it on the menu. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I actually All right, All right you got it. Go ahead, Nick. It's the panko encrusted group of fish sandwich with French fries. <laughs> I have no the, I have the Lime panko crusted dock oh, porridge wrong. famous fish sandwich. <laughs> no, nope. I, don't, I don't have it either. I had the famous panko encrusted dock porridge fish sandwich. <laughs> didn't we just? <laughs> didn't we just have a I menu know, meeting? Didn't I, you just I, have a menu meeting? I know, I know famous is one of the words. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not. dock Ford's original lime panko original. crusted fish sandwich. Original. <laughs> original. That's one point for me. Oh, one point original. for me. That's what it was. Every Not time famous. I order it, I say the entire the entire <laughs> word. Just Doc time. Ford's original lime panko crusted fish sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> adjectives. That's so funny. That is uh, All right, it's a tie. Five is adjectives. All right, go on. Five ding, adjectives. Ding. For one win. menu item. One one Wait, one. It's a tie. We only we got one. one. Yeah. I got a <laughs> one Excellent. point for me too. Ding ding. That was fun. I need to brush up on my back forward. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I thought I had it too. No shot. Max, you got a question for Joe? Oh yeah, Joe. We like to ask all of our guests, if you had a friend coming to visit the islands, mm -hmm. what is the number one thing they should do? And it can't be visit Doc Fords. Uh, I would tell them to book a fishing guide. Fishing guide. Yeah. Great idea. Yeah. yeah. Most tip. of my friends that aren't from here, they're, you know, they rant and rave about fishing and it's, it's just an easy win. Oh yeah. 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 Totally we, agree. I'm we have, yeah. we have a few friends are, that are fishing guides right. and they, they're so knowledgeable. So knowledgeable. Take you know, it's also a lot of fun is just to rent bikes actually mm -hmm. and just cruise. There's yeah. a lot of cool, like Periwinkle is yeah. awesome, but you can go down, you know, Donax and right. there's yeah. a lot of cool little Dixie. roads. Yeah. yeah. And see everything on a bike. Definitely. I think it's definitely the best way to see everything on the island. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. All right. Well, awesome. awesome. Thanks very much for joining us, yeah, Joe. Thank it's you guys. a pleasure to have you. And thank you for supporting the channel. That's a, yep. it's a big help. And, and we can do what we do. Everybody out there, when you come visit, there's all the restaurants. Go check them out. Go and check them out. Thank you yeah. get a Yucatan shrimp. You want sure. <laughs> <You're> extra bread. <laughs> extra bread. <laughs> <laughs> tip, tip and please make top. sure you say all say eight words when yeah, you. Yeah, eight uh, words. Doc Ford's <laughs> original line, Pango Crescent Fish Sandwich. All right. Fantastic. Thank you, guys love to uh, say thank you to our supporters uh, please go and check out our favorite charity captains for clean water and also want to thank our supporters bailey's general store doc ford's rum bar and grill spoon drift island bowls three crafty ladies gator bites taylor nail priscilla's of sanibel coco e cabana Suncatcher's dream and sanibel cuts thank you very much guys we'll see you on thank the next you. one Bye.